In this performance, the magic carpet actually flipped over with the two actors on board. If you listen closely, you can hear the actress who plays Princess Jasmine screaming in fear. This may have caused you. Once again, this performance cannot continue. Oh. Thank you. Oh my god. That's terrifying. Why is no one talking about this? Why is no one helping her? I would literally, like, let's take off our clothes and make a big sheet and catch her underneath. That's incredibly creepy. <laughs> Maybe let's not do that. But like, help her. That, like, that was like 15 seconds of her dangling there, like pleading for help. That's terrifying. How dare you treat Princess Jasmine that way? Nemo is really dead. There's a very convincing Pixar fan theory that says Nemo is dead. He supposedly died with his mother and the film is an analogy of Marlin's grief. The word Nemo is Latin for no one. The word Nemo is Latin for no one? Well, I mean, that explains it. How have we never known this? Oh my God. Yeah. So like the dad could just be kind of making up this whole thing in his head that he's gonna go get his son back, but he's really dead. Oh, dang. Okay. That's very disturbing. I like just seeing Nemo as this very fun, playful, happy ending. What's going on guys? Welcome or welcome back. I am sassy. Today we are checking out some Disney mistakes that will ruin your childhood. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's all I got to say for this one. Oh, great. I'm glad you guys are getting video of this. <gasps> What's happening? Okay, obviously it's a malfunction. So they're doing a live performance at Disneyland. Malfunction's happening. It looks very creepy, very disturbing. But some will say, was this a mistake? Because there's all these theories that Disney's meant to be creepy and hoping no one notices. But yeah, that would ruin my childhood if I saw that. <laughs> That'd probably ruin like a lot of parents' day. Because like, how uncomfortable is that? <laughs> <gasps> I'm sorry. To work forty-eight hours a day for the poor. Excuse me. And the poor says we never will be slaves. Be hile, hile. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my. This isn't real. This is, is this really a Donald Duck episode or something? Donald Duck is supposed to be like this hilarious character of my childhood. What? Why is it like this storyline? Like it looked like it had a happy ending, but what? Why is he hailing? The H-Man. I'm not even gonna let his name be known in this video. Mm -mm, that word not coming out of my mouth. Wow. Okay, children, don't watch it. Donald Duck does not need to teach you this lesson. Your parents will. Donald Duck is meant to just make us laugh. You're having a good time, ain't you? Uh-huh, I sure am. Oh boy, this is a life. Up and open? Yeah. It sure is. How did I not catch on to that in Pinocchio? <laughs> I'm sorry, Pinocchio's a, a boy chilling at a pool club and he's, he's smoking. Mm-hmm, interesting. See, this is very helpful because if I ever have kids one day, I would know what I can and cannot show them based on this. You're welcome, moms and dads out there. Ooh, another theory. The Three Little Pigs Disney film from 1933 shows the big wolf dressed up as a Jew because apparently Jewish people are scary, evil, and bad. WTF Disney. No way. That is not true. <gasps> 1933, obviously would have never seen this. Oh my God. That is terrible. <gasps> Disney, shame on you. What? How did the wolf come into play then? If it was the three little pigs, wouldn't it always be the wolf in the story? Alas, the girl. Ooh. 
Let's hear it for it, everybody. Girl power. Oh, no. <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the last album moves is definitely ruin your entire childhood because you're going to Disneyland thinking that you're going to meet the one, the only, the real Elastigirl. And her face falls off on stage in front of your eyes. Oh my God, that will haunt children for the rest of their lives. Like that's terrifying when you think these things are real and their face just falls off. That's like when kids find Santa's fate. That's a very hard time. Finds a random corpse in the woods, kisses it. <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. There's gotta be more context. You know, like the prince had to have known about this beautiful princess that needed a kiss to save her, right? Right? Did he know? Or is he going up and finding these weird dead bodies in the woods and kissing them? That's true, that's so creepy. There's more to the story. I haven't seen this movie in ages, so I wanna give the prince the benefit of the doubt, but that's kind of true. Oh, yes. I have seen this before. In this movie, when they're going down the roller coaster, if you pause it and look in one of the windows, you will see a nude woman. Fully topless, fully nude, see everything in a Disney children's movie. You're sick. There's also this really weird like um, stripping scene in this movie where one of the mouses like does this like strip song and like takes her clothes off. Like it's super weird. I don't know how Disney got away with this. Honestly, it's so freaking strange. Can't even trust Disney in this world, you guys. Even the best friend will take a look sometimes. <laughs> Flounder. <laughs> could it? This looks like a screen grab. Like his eyes could have been moving in the movie and this is like a screenshot where it looks like his eyes are looking at her yabos. Guys we might be stretching things a little bit here, but you know what? I'm sure your guy best friends do take a look once in a while. You can look, but you can't touch. Does it mean that contain a little message? Oh, does it complete? Here is the scene. Come on, good, can you just take off the back uh, down, can you? Wait, wait. I, did I hear take off? Come on, good, can you just take off the back <gasps> On good can you just take off the uh, Okay, so it sounds like they're saying good teen Okay. On good can you just take off the It's the script says go kitty take off and go, but it sounds like it's saying good teenagers take off their clothes. When I first heard it without knowing this, I literally heard take off your clothes. That's all I heard. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know, we could be stretching it, but it genuinely sounds um, like take off your clothes in this scene. It's a little creepy. <laughs> a little, that's like very freaking creepy and very wrong and illegal and sick. Fantasia, oh, 1940. Is that is that for real? <gasps> is that for real? Oh my god. I've honestly only seen the newer Fantasia, not the 1940 version, but they have like black characters in that acting as slaves, but then they're removed for the official DVD. When was that ever? Okay. What? What? Oh, this is stressing me out. This is stressing me out. All right, guys, but well, those are some Disney mistakes that will definitely ruin your childhood and probably your adulthood because I still have a love for Disney, but um, it's questionable now. Let me know what you guys think and leave a like on this video if you want to see more movie mistakes, Disney, dark theories. I don't know. What do you want to see? Let me know. Keep it sassy. I will see you in another one. Bye. This is Disney. Disney mistakes, I'll ruin your childhood, something like that. Okay, number two, pressing put. Oh, it's a picture. Okay, intro. I don't even know what this is called, let me look. We are keeping it a little bit classy today because, sure. Wow, no, hair, I see this, what is this? 
oh, I'll be damned, you've been there the whole time. Mm. Um, and bless the world if I ever put that on the red, the future generation. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say, but not cool. I almost threw up, I had a burp. Do we kiss corpse? Corpses? Corpses? Have you even subscribed to the channel yet? Don't be a fake fan, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to.